All right, this is a oil filter that I removed from a service call and there are some issues there, which you can see here. This is where the oil from the tank flows into the top here in these holes. You can see there's a bunch of crap in there, all right? So I noticed our oil flow was, was pretty poor from the tank to the burner. Also, that line is like 3 8 in size. And it's also trapped. So it goes from the tank into the ground, goes under the ground, and then jumps up. So essentially, it's, it's trapped. So what I'm pretty sure is happening, this is the top of the filter here too. This is where all this stuff is getting through these holes sits on there bleeds around the side here down the bottom you can see there's some pretty big chunks here and then as we take the filter off the filter isn't terrible there are some chunks in there this is what's bad the fact that the line is trapped and we're still getting Some chunky stuff in there leads me to believe that that line is pretty restricted. So in order for this stuff to flow, uh, oh my god, look at that. I think you can see that. Through a trapped line, then it has to be pretty bad. And you can see all that, those chunks there. There you go. So that's all the garbage flowing out of that line. The filter is doing its job by keeping that debris in the filter. But this filter is located, you know, just a couple feet away from the burner. So it isn't catching all the debris at the tank. And it's clogging up that 3 8 line. The, the flow on it was just barely trickling out. Um, as I was trying to fill up the new filter. So. We got some issues here. We might have to do some flushing. But there's the filter there. We cut the top off. Pull the filter out. Check the condition. That's the little bottom part. A little spring. But you can see we definitely have some crud in the line that we need to address.